Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Star Stitches. Hope you're all well. Um, apologies, this video wasn't uh, recorded and put up at the weekend. Um, I was a bit busy and I was kind of hoping something else might arrive but didn't. So um, yes, I thought I would show you. We have had a bit of yarny delivery that I forgot about. Um, so I'm gonna show you that today. Um, firstly, I finally finished my uh, Wee Willies tester kit last night that I have obviously mentioned to you that I can't tell you anything about um, so that's finished so I need to so the next steps for me tonight are um, I've actually got a little template that I created when I first started testing for Lisa I've got away all the leftover uh, yarn in the kit that she sent and then I'll start to just type up the pattern not not retype it but any bits that, that I've noticed maybe if there's a slight grammar mistake spelling mistake or if anything um didn't quite flow right with the pattern um there's not normally much to be honest um with Lisa's she's not well, I normally don't spot really anything particular um I think it was just maybe one one spelling mistake or, or something in the middle of there but um I note them down with pencil all over the pattern so I'll type that up and get that over to Lisa for this evening um so then she can finalize and get ready for the new kit whenever she chooses to release that um toft advent calendar did go on sale last thursday the 28th of july um it went up well i ordered mine at 10 to 4 and it had gone up a couple of minutes before that so they normally aim their updates on the website for about four o'clock um so mad dash quickly got in there um, by Friday morning, I think they only had 20% of the stock left. At last check yesterday, there were sort of late yesterday evening, there were still some left. So if you are keen, maybe, and you've just seen this video tonight, Monday night, go and check the website, see if you can find one if you're interested, because they were super, super strict on their, their numbers of what they can achieve um, and what they can get out to everybody. Um, there was a little bit of, not hoo-ha, but I think people, I think a little bit disappointed in terms of, obviously it's not in everybody's budget, but you can't please everybody, you know, if something is going to be classed as a luxury and, and something, you know, a treat for you, um, you know, they're not going to release something, just the pattern of it, Toff never just release patterns, they're always done as kits, um, you know, I think to be fair, with what it is and it's an exclusive etc um it's all coming in a, a similar box to last year um you get a patch a pin i think some centralizers um as your extra goodies you know i think it's five pound more than it was last year so it's uh 80 pounds uh 80 80 U, uh, uk british pounds um with free delivery in the uk and then it's £80 plus various um, shipping costs depending on where you are in EU and the rest of the world. Um, but yeah, not everyone's going to be able to afford it. Obviously, with everything else going up, um, it, it's something that comes out every year, I suppose. It's a case of potentially budgeting for it if you can. Um, you know, I, I think that's the trouble. You either got to got to try and get get it if you can or be happy for those that have and just accept that you know maybe you're not going to participate every year i only found toft in the last couple of years and i'm i am gutted i've missed the ones before but it is what it is you know um they sometimes do eventually release a pattern i think there's talk and a possibility maybe of the snow doll it wasn't a snow queen because you can make it as a male or a female um that was 2020s advent maybe being released so i wonder if that's going to come out this year as a general release um but obviously not in the exclusive colors so yes it is 80 pounds it is dependent on your situation and your budget um and that's something that's a personal choice for for everyone to make so um i think if it was priced you know at 40 or 50 pounds there wouldn't be all the extras and also people would possibly complain that it wasn't luxury and there wasn't enough included so you know it is what it is so I'm, I've got mine, I've secured mine, um, but I want this to be something positive again this year. I really enjoyed doing it last year, um, throughout December, having some part of the pattern to do each day, um, and a couple of days where I've 
busy with with work especially in my old job I didn't always get time to do that current day's piece um, and they're in nice bike sized chunks so there is always um, some built-in catch-up time at various points um, so it is a bird this year they have put that the details on um, the website on the listing but it is a bird again um, and I think there is an exclusive colour yarn to the advent um, but they won't they won't disclose how much yarn is included etc but enough for your project anywho so yeah check that out um on the subject of toft i will get to show you in the arm sorry <laughs> on the subject of toft we do believe that it is they're on create and craft on this friday i think at the 11 o'clock slot 11 a.m um to for their birthday launch so this time every year toft do their birthday event so um we assume they might be there for a Toft update on the website this th coming Thursday for their birthday because they will normally release it before it going on Create and Craft. Um, probably they wanted to get Advent out of the way and done and dusted before um, then doing their birthday launch. So keep an eye out for that this week. Um, if not on Toft on Thursday afternoon, check out Create and Craft on Friday morning because um, there will possibly be an update in the 16th birthday there. And last year, I think it was the cupcake patches and the special limited edition bag, I believe. It all merges into one. I found Toft in March 2020, just before lockdown. So it's been two years. It's just, it just feels like I only found Mar it, Toft in March last year. Anywho, enough of me waffling. That's the update in terms of websites, etc. So I forgot that I made a purchase from Discreet Unicorns um their website i don't think this is the first um order i've placed i think i've only placed one order before um so i did spot a yarn that i thought would work quite well for um, a lupin um which is kind of similar colors um to the lupin not really a bit more vibrant um and there was another yarn that i really wanted from there that i'd kept my kept looking back at and keeping my eye on and i quite liked so i ordered that so I'll pop a link to Discreet Unicorn so you can go off and have a look. Um, I think I did manage to get, I think the owner was doing a birthday treat, so a, a small discount for it being her birthday. So I think I used that um, a couple of weeks ago when I ordered these. So they did seem to take, like they, they were posted by the, uh, by the lady on the 20th of July and they only arrived here on Thursday last week. So it did take a full whole week in Royal Mail. Um, but I think there have been postal strikes again, so that's probably why um so this one is called summer um as per usual dk so you can see we've got the really bright pinks and the really sort of fluorescent orange there that would think like chiron so that's called classes like traffic cone orange um into some pastel ends um i'm not gonna untwist it but the way this was on the website um when you looked at the pattern of it it looked like it would be quite good for a toft looping i mean I've already made two lupins now and I've still got my own hand dye to try out but um yeah so that one I really quite liked the look of so we went for that and then the other one I had my eye on for a while was a Galactica very much my sort of colorway purples pinks turquoise etc sort of ice I always call the icy tones of uh blues so yeah Galactica there DK again so very pleased with those two so yeah they came on thursday um what have i got coming i've done siobhan's care bears i've definitely done that which i told you about i haven't didn't siobhan didn't have an update because she was at the summer wool festival this weekend um i i do keep looking at my yarn and thinking i have way too much um i'm looking around like you can see here there's yarn here this is in front of the unit that was purchased just to house yarn. Um, but yes, now that I've finished the tester kit, I want to get back on with my delphinium, get that finished. Because um, also possibly the next Florist Club is definitely going to be coming in August um, from Toft Florist Society. Um, but not sure when. I think they might get the birthday bit out of the way first. Um, so that my next flower monster will be here soon. So I am always behind on them because i didn't start the peony until may i think it was so yes get my delphinium finished because i hate mid leading product 
products projects because I had to for the test of Kim. Sorry, I'm very warm in here. It's um I've turned my fan off so you can hear me and closed the window because of the seagulls and the noise outside, but it's very, very warm. Um yeah, what else is there at the moment? I downloaded actually, I saw on and I cannot I'm really sorry, I can't say her surname. It's Tina and she did um the mosaic crochet blanket that i did i think i showed that to you before quite a way back um it was the queen cow it was called queen crochet long um which i signed up to with all my friends from the knitting yarn natter group and they all left me to it and i was the first one to finish for a long long time <laughs> um on her group she had a new shawl pattern that has just come out and it's called akira which is k-i-r-a I'll pop a link so you can have a look because she's got a website and she's on Ravelry. Um, I'm quite pleased because I managed to get in there last night and then until the end of July she had a 50% off code um, for it. So I think it was three, $3.25 I think um, for the pattern, about two quid. Um, so I'm going to have a look at that as well because the only shawls that I've done have been the, um, I think it's, the, it's called Monterey, yeah, from Toft. Um, and I'd like to try something a bit different. Um, and I've got a sort of gradient set maybe behind me. No, it was behind me. Um, from Woolly Mummers, um, which I'd like to use for it. Actually, I have purchased some more yarn. I've got Woolly Mummers to come. That's what I was waiting for to show you with this. I was hoping it had arrived. Um, because they had a sale. So I got another pack. That's what it was. I bought another pack the same as what I've already got to try and make a nice large shawl or two of the same. I'll give one away. Um Sorry, digress there. Yes, yeah, so the Kira shawl from um, Tina. And it is a beginner one, uh, beginner pattern. Um, looking at it, I've only just briefly looked at it since downloading it. It's written in US terms, which I think her queen cow was. And I think it's obviously for UK, it's double crochet and treble crochet. Um, but obviously for the US terminology, it's a single and a double. So I don't think it goes any higher than that. Um, and I think you're working in the gaps by the looks of it. And Tina's got um, a full YouTube video um, to go with the pattern, which is what she did with the Queen. And she broke that down into sort of weekly patterns and um, videos as well. So, um, yes, I'm going to have a look at that maybe after my flower monster is done. But anyhow, I think I have probably waffled enough today. Um... We're getting close to my year of being on YouTube. Uh, September, I started it last year. Um, I am still quite amazed that there are so many of you following me. And I know in the grand scheme of things, people will be like, oh, that's not many followers. I think there's 215 or 216 of you. So thank you for being here. To me, I'm really, really chuffed. I, I thought it would be me talking to myself all the time. So the fact that, that over 200 of you are here watching me waffle um, is really appreciated. Um, yeah, so I really, really appreciate it and try and get some more, um, you know, different videos and content and stuff that we can to try and vary it up for you. Sorry, short interlude there. Husband thought I was still working and was bringing me in a cup of tea. Um, didn't realise I was recording my video. Um, yeah, so thank you for, for joining and I really appreciate all of you coming along and following. Um, try and have some different ideas for some content because... I do worry I'm just sitting here showing you everything I'm ordering that's arriving. Um, but I think as we get into winter more as well, sort of autumn and winter, I'll be doing a lot more projects because sit in front of the TV, the weather's rubbish in the UK um, and working my way through. So and also a lot of the yarn festivals also start um, sort of September onwards. So um, I've got definitely got one booked in September and I want to try and go back to Ali Pali in October. So there'll be some more haul videos, hopefully, for you to see. Um, and I'll try and video some content when when I'm at the show so you can sort of have a nosy through me and have a have a little walk through. Um, but yes, I'll let you crack on with the rest of your evening. Thank you for watching. Um, as always, um, like comment if there's anything you want to see i know some of you have sort of said you know you want to see where everything lives or look at my craft room we've done the tour um if there's anything else you want to see let me know um 
I will promise that if it's anything in my craft room, we have to normalise the craft room, looks like an absolute tip, <laughs> even though it keeps getting tidied. Um, but yes, it is my craft room. So it's my little sanctuary where I can just do whatever, and dump my parcels in a corner while I'm working from home. Um, but yeah, so have a good week and um, I will catch you again next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.